this game absolutely must be cursed. 25 hours. 25 hours of streaming or trying to record a video, trying to put something together for this, and just problems. Not all of them the game's fault. Some of them my own fault. My own stupidity. From video issues to audio issues to this, that, and the other thing. And I am absolutely certain that something's going to go wrong with this recording. But let's hope not. Let's also get going. I'm going to start a new game. I'm going to use my name. And we're going to try to power through the first stage because I played the first stage like 10 times. So let's go. Cool. Blah, blah, blah. Nobody cares. Let's go fix the car. That's how many times I've done this. More times in the intro. I don't want to do the intro again. Just power through this. Okay, the bunny. We gotta get into town, talk to Mr. Lost and Found, so if I lose the gas can, he'll find it for me. Yeah. Oh, why am I in there? Oh no! Oh, how did that happen? I was just saying that it's kind of weird how many games people don't play. They buy and they don't play. Like, um... Uh, Stanley Parable. Um, it gives you, uh... Or awards for every ending that you pass, and there are there is a, a, a shocking number of people who have who have only gotten through the first ending, the one where you you just go through naturally, and they don't even go into the escape ending, which is the ending, which is the um, oh, is, no, okay, I already moved that forward, which is the the museum ending. Like, how could you go through the the primary walkthrough, the, like the primary move-through that lasts five minutes, and not at the very least go to the, um, the museum ending? Like, I realize that some people are so incurious that they, they may not take the door on the left. And continue on the adventure. And solely just take the door on the right. But who doesn't go to the museum ending? I don't know. Anyways, the reason I thought of that was because this game is like a cookie clicker. Oops. With all the clicking you do. Makes my finger hurt. Just click, 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 click. And we need epic music while we do this. Maybe I'll insert some, like, royalty-free, uh, epic music in here just for a joke. Probably some from that guy who everybody uses. Incomplete or Inca text or something McLeod. Whatever his name is. Yeah. Just for the ridiculousness of the of the of the situation. The situation. Thank you. 
Okay, thank you. Oops. Put you in here. Never drive with this bat out. What else do I need here? I need a little food. Not for right right now, but for the future. Because the future is never now. The future is this indistinguishable mass. This cloud of, of, of mystery that eventually clears. But when it clears, it becomes the present. And is no longer the future. And then when it becomes so clear as to be... Um, uh, something it then becomes the past that needs a little work but now I have gone over these cliffs a hundred times so if I go over this cliff you'll never know it because I'll just restart again for the fifth time That was fun. Okay. That wasn't totally stupid. Just mostly. And, uh... I didn't lose everything, so... I'm gonna keep going. It's hard to control without the, uh... With the, uh the wheels, the tire solo. I'm in a bad mood. I've played this game too much. I don't want to play it. But I'd really like to show it off. I promised that I'd show it off, so fuck it, I'm going to show it off. Unless I want to talk about some stuff later on when I've gone through some crap and uh, oop, put that in there now we'll go talk to Mr. Find Things because as soon as you befriend this guy um, he will find your gas can and stuff. I think he even finds the car. I'm not sure. He finds a bunch of things. Shovel. He finds the shovel. Finds the gas can. Um, I don't know what else. The cherry can is kind of weird because you can't buy another one. I like every every. Um, place I know, every gas station I know, sell you a jerry can. Because usually when they sell you a jerry can, it's because you've run out of gas somewhere. So you're like automatically buying gas. But whatever. Okay, two things I need from here. Or three things. I need to talk to these go these bozos. Hi, bozos! I need this. Uh, the pruning shears. Whoops. Then I need the tire pump. Tire pump. Yeah. And then I'll pump these tires up. I don't know what they go to. I'm going to put them to 30. Because that's what I set my own tires to. Let's see if it's actually written on the door. So usually there's a tag right there that says... How hard, to, how hard to fill them, but uh, it's not not in this car. Also, driving on your tires, like I did, is really bad. But, you know, for a few, a few kilometers just to get somewhere, to a place to fill them up, 
is not terrible. You won't kill them. If you do it for uh, a couple hours, you'll kill them. But a kilometer or two, it's not going to be a big deal. You might get unlucky and um, separate the tire from the rim if it's really, really uh, low. Um, and the rim might uh, ride on top of the uh, uh, on top of the the rubber, and separate it or or crack it or something. But those would be unlucky things. And the longer you drive on them. That when they're really low, the more unlucky you will become. But, uh... For a little while, it's not going to kill you. I once drove on truck tires for... Well, God knows how long. Um... From downtown Ottawa to uh, Castleman in a fully loaded truck, fully loaded D truck. Anybody from Ontario will know what that, what, what that is. I think it's a class two in the United States. Okay, I think, I don't think I need anything else. I've got, oh, I, I know what I need. I need the pot, um, the pot plant which is over in one of those uh, turbines. Now it's going to drive much better because the tires are, are, are inflated. Let's just park somewhere where it's not going to off anywhere. Now oh, that'll hit the tree if it's if it was too far. I'll put it in neutral. Now the reason I'm doing that is because if you put it in park or you put the parking brake on, um, all the contents will shift around and, and, and shake and stuff because this is not a very well coded game. It needs work. Now we go up this epic set of stairs. And steal this poor electrical worker's pot seeds. And commit suicide! Without committing suicide. Because suicide is painless. It brings on many changes. And I can take or leave it if I please. Bet you didn't know it had lyrics! Now, if you're my age, you probably do know that it had lyrics. Now we go home. I forgot we have to talk to our brother first. He's our brother. His name is Francois, I believe. Yeah. yeah, Francois. Francis. Francis. Okay, now actually back home. There we go. So we take our shovel and we go um, right there and there and I want to go towards this tree. There we go. And this is to plant the potato and the pot seed. I only get one seed? I thought I got more than one seed. Oh, I got two potato seeds. Is that random or, or do you always get that? Where's the potato? There.
grab it. Oh, need that. Mm, where's the potato? Potato. Go. Now we fuel all of our devices, all of our equipment, or put more fuel than many ways. And that'll be it. That's a dead soldier. I close them all up. There we go. Now, where did the poutine go from in here? Probably lost at one of the things I hit. Flipped out on. Eventually I'm going to have to fill that up again, so I'll just stick it in there. But for now, let's load up the truck with the garbage we need. And, uh, chainsaw. And, uh, we will need food. So, two maple syrups, and you need, you need more maple syrup than you do, uh, it's in because you get thirstier more than you get hungry. Oops. But I don't think they're supposed to represent thirst and hunger meters. I think they're just supposed to be something jokey. Like we're we're Canadians and we, we live on this shit. Or whatever. Now, we are going to cut down the trees, but first we need to take clippings of those trees so that we'll have more trees in the future. Be able to plant them again, because there is no way to get them back. I don't think you could... there's a... God damn it. There's a... Uh, another lot that you can buy off in the corner there over there somewhere but it um, uh, it costs a lot I guess I don't know I don't know how much it costs it's like 60,000 or something like that but you can't take any clippings from any of the trees if you don't own it so there's no point and it's a long walk Well, let's just fast forward this. So the reason I'm not putting the parking brake on here is because the parking brake's bugged. When you turn the parking brake on, all of the stuff inside the vehicle sort of jitters around and Acts all crazy. And it's uh, super obnoxious to deal with. Super, super obnoxious. So much so that uh, you don't want to play the game with uh, with uh, parking brakes. Just, just don't use them. Like, as you can see, I'm using the come-along as uh to keep me in place and uh that's it okay we'll go back to fast forwarding now Uh, now that it's getting late, I'm going to go home and take a nap. I'm just going to leave all the lights and everything on because they don't matter. Uh, typically, I try to go to sleep at uh, about 10 o'clock so that I'll wake up by 6 in the morning. I'll probably wake up more like 4 today because um, it, has, it hasn't been a full day. 
Um, but the reason you want to wake up earlier is because you, when you have the bush in operation, you want to start your generator before 9. So that you're, uh, you're sucking the maximum amount of sap out of the trees. There we go. Probably going to have to eat putsin soon. I didn't work yesterday, which I, I wanted to do, but um, the time got away from me again. Back over here. And all we're doing right now is just getting the sugar shack built. So it's probably going to take three more trees. thread between these two. Yes, I can. And then one of the reasons that we're not taking more than uh, than one tree at a time is because two won't fit. Two and a half will fit, but two will not. Um, they will bounce against one another and it'll be a pain in the ass. So, uh, we're not going to do that. There we go. Which is not a good place to attach it. Because that would rip the box apart. Where's the cutting? There it is. That's why I picked the cuttings up right away, because if you can't see it, um, you'll miss it. And they're very hard to see. Fine. A little easier, but still pretty hard. Okay, back to fast forwarding, I think. See, that's kind of odd. You see, it lo it looks like it's up on an on an incline, but it's actually drifting that way. Um, and I think it's because you have some of the um, some of the objects inside pushing it in that direction. I'm not exactly sure what's causing these things, and I mean, I'm not the coder, but hopefully the coder can figure it out, but since this has been a known issue that he hasn't addressed, and just added parts to the car, um, I'm not super confident it'll ever be addressed. It might be beyond his ability to, to code, I have no idea. Uh, as far as I know, this may be his first project. But uh, back to fast forwarding. You all the stuff moving around? That's what I'm talking about. Switch it off. Stops moving around. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, now it's time to go visit everybody again, but um, since we're not getting any gas or any kind of uh, anything else, we'll just take the ATV, because the ATV is fun to drive, and it uh, uses a whole lot less fuel, even than the car. No idea if it uses less fuel than the dune buggy, but... Was he? Oh, great. Now we're close enough we can walk. Which way do we go? This way.
crossing the river is not faster. It's shorter, it's not faster. All I really want to do is get to um, Mr. Find It because he's the, he's really the only one I care about uh, getting um, a relationship with because um, he will find lost gas cans and stuff. Super, super convenient to have him. Especially, as you see, I do a lot of wipeouts because I'm not paying attention. I'm rushing all the time. Ooh, who painted that? Not going to bother with the Bobsy twins because they don't super matter. One gives you access to the, to the junkyard and the other one gives you access to the racetrack. But you have to pat. You have to. You have to buy the racetrack. Basically, you donate seventy thousand dollars to the racetrack uh, restoration, but um, you don't own the track. He owns the track, so it's like you want seventy thousand dollars to pick up the track, and I own no part of it. Go fuck yourself. Like if I if if if. If I thought, if I wanted to spend $70,000 on a, a racetrack, a plot of land, whatever, for whatever reason, um, like say, for a racetrack, if I thought I needed one so badly and that the public would like it, I would, uh, would buy one myself. Now, this is annoying because... In real life, I would be able to push that over. Uh, let's see if turning the wheels would do anything. No. Nothing. So, this is one of the things that super annoys me about this game. This this would be this would be trivial to get righted. Uh, look at that; the axles don't even sit properly. Super trivial to get this thing righted, but it's you just can't. Same thing with the um, with the uh, I can walk into it a bit. If if I can get like one, no. Nope. This is why I don't want to play this game. This is what makes this game not fun. Is little stupid shit like this. Like, I, I understand if it's my car that's on its side, but... To not have any drag points for this, or trailers, or, or anything like that, that just... That just irritates the snot out of me. Like... It does. It just irritates the snot out of me. Now I'm gonna have to walk all the way back home. And I don't want to. I don't want to play this game. I don't want to play this game. 